Hello everyone. So this video is going to be a continuation of my previous video where I implemented this real time Salesforce project using Apex class integration and LWC. So in this project, you can actually get the weather details of any city that you search for. First of all, thank you very much for showing so much of appreciation in my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I would highly recommend please go and watch that video in order to get some hands on experience on building real time project using Apex classes, integration and LWC. So there were some queries as well that how we can make use of name credential in integration related projects. So it is always better to understand a concept using a real time scenario rather than just going through the theoretical knowledge. So what I will do is I will actually revamp or redefine my existing functionality that is this weather information and make use of name credential. We'll just make minor changes and we'll make use of name credential so that we get to know how name credential can be used in integration. Although it is always recommended to make use of name credential while making integration API calls from Salesforce. So let's I will quickly give you the overview of what all components we created in order to build this functionality. But if you want to get detailed information, then you have to watch my previous video. So let's get started. We first created a remote site setting. This is nothing but white listing the external system so that Salesforce allows us to make API call to that external system. So this is the external system, which is called open weather map. This actually it's an open source API framework where we can just make API calls from Salesforce and get the weather details. So we just created this remote site setting to whitelist this external system. Now I actually uploaded that code, the Apex class and the LWC component in GitHub. The link of this GitHub is already provided in my previous video. I'll quickly go through that components so that we are aware what all components were available while building that functionality. So here is a Apex class which actually accepts the city name. That is whatever city the user enters on the UI. It will be sent here in this Apex class to be sent to the external system that I want to get the weather, weather details of this city. So this Apex class is pretty simple that I have I have just framed the endpoint URL. Like if I go to this tab, you see this is the endpoint URL, how it looks like until this, it is the domain URL. After this, the parameter starts like Q is equals to the city name units equals to metric mean what all units or uh, what will be the units of the readings that we will receive. So while providing metric, it means it, it will return the standard units like for temperature, it will be degree Celsius for height, it will be meter. And the last parameter is app ID. This is nothing but API key. So if you watch my previous video, you will get to know that you have to first create your account in that external system where they will give you your unique API key. So every user will have their API key that will be generated in the external system that I can directly use here. So in the first step, I'm simply creating the endpoint. Endpoint should look exactly like this. And if you see, this is the response we receive after hitting this URL. Under this main node, you can see the, all the details like temperature, feels like minimum maximum pressure humidity. this is all what i used to display on my screen so this creates i mean this prepares the endpoint and then it makes an api call using http methods here is the endpoint that i am using under set endpoint so i prepared that endpoint then using it and under http method and then whatever response that we get we are actually storing that into the wrapper class this was the wrapper class that stores all the data received from external system in the form of JSON and simply returning this wrapper class to our LWC component. This is what exactly our Apex class does. This is just a quick overview of this Apex class. Then we'll go to the LWC component that we had created. This is also going to be a very simple one. Like there was an HTML which will accept the city name. As you can see, there is a lightning input which accepts the city name and this city name will be passed to my apex class so that it can make api call and this is the display part where i mean there is a button as well get weather details so on click of this my javascript method will be called and based on that there will be no i mean that will invoke my apex class so let me go to the javascript again there was a so i have imported this get weather details apex class method in my javascript and I'm simply on click of that button, get weather details. I'm simply calling this Apex class method with the city name as whatever user has entered the city name. 
and whatever response that we get we are simply storing this in our local variable so whatever result that we have received from the apex class that is the wrapper class so our apex class has returned the wrapper which is which we are storing here in the javascript variable and in the html we are simply using that to iterate i mean to display that information so you see weather details is the local variable under that we had a city we had fields like temperature pressure so whatever details the wrapper class has been returned from my apex class apex class method we are simply using that to display here and if i show you that so you can make use of this code in your org and then whatever changes we do you can simply incorporate those changes so as of now we have been simply creating the endpoint directly in the apex class and using that endpoint in our http method after getting the response returning it into a wrapper now instead of using uh now basically you see there is no use of uh, named credential so we'll actually create a new named credential here like this you can give any name you have to provide the domain url of the external system basically domain url is nothing but and anything before passing the parameters this is the domain url basically the external endpoint so you'll uh, provide that domain url here and identity type select as either named credential or per user so if the external system has to be authorized before making api call since this open weather is an open source it has no authentication process so we, do, we won't provide any authentication but in real scenario there can be external system which will make use of authorization so we have to authorize all ourselves before able to make api call to that system so you can choose that accordingly if if the if your external system uses oauth 2.0 kind of authorization then you have to select this one and you have to authorize yourself at least once similarly if it is a username password kind of authorization you can simply place the username and password of your external system and simply save it so that every time we are making an api call to the external system we are first authenticating our, ourselves and then it then only it will give us the response so i have already created my uh, name credential here the name is weather underscore api this is the endpoint that I have given. This is nothing but the base endpoint. After this, I can append anything. And I've choose the identity type as named principal. And since it is an open, open with, I mean, it is open source, no authorization is required. So I've choose no authentication. So all these basically endpoint URL, the authorization, they, sometimes there can be client ID and client secret required to authorize yourself we can store all this information under this named credential then in the code we have to simply i will simply remove this entire endpoint creation and uncomment this part of code which i have already written and i will show you what i have done so we have our base url already stored in the name credential we only want to create the parameters so parameter starts from here as you can see this is the base url then after question mark the parameter starts this is something that we have to frame in the apex code itself so from question mark q equals to the city name that we are receiving from the lwc component the units equals to metric and these are all hard-coded values that we already know these are not going to change anytime so i've just created the endpoint params basically the right hand side part of this url it is already created now then while creating this http request i have now I will just simply remove this part and we will use this part of so now since we are using named credential while while uh, appending uh, i mean assigning value into an endpoint request endpoint we can simply use this command call out colon the api name of the named credential and then i am simply appending this uh, parameters into that endpoint so it will nothing but we will get the endpoint base url from the named credential that is this part of the URL and I'm simply appending the remaining uh, parameter part in the URL, whatever I've framed here. So it is complete. So whatever authorization and base, base endpoint URL that every detail will be received from this name credential that is already storing these data. All right.
So the command is like call out colon the API name of the endpoint. This will give you the endpoint of that base URL. After that, you can simply append whatever you want to. Then every part and then all other part of the code will still remain the same. I will simply go and refresh it and see if it is working fine. We can also see in the debug statement what this endpoint params have been created. So I'll search for Srinagar. Okay, we got the results. And under the logs, we will see that params will also be created accordingly. So you see endpoint params is nothing but Q equals to my city name, units equals to metric and app, app ID is nothing but my API key, which I already know. And this is the response that we have received. Under main, all these fields like uh, humidity, pressure, sea level, all these informations are there. And this is the wrapper class that I'm going to return. City fields like humidity, pressure, temp, max, temp, min, these are all the attributes that I will be sending to my LWC component, which are getting displayed over here. So I hope this was pretty clear that how we can use name credentials in our API integrations. This was one of the examples that you that will make you clear how name credentials are used. So we as of now, we are only leveraging the endpoint URL out of that name credential, name credential but we can also use authorization protocols and everything. Thanks for watching.